everyone, and welcome to the DQ TV studios. I'm Bo McCaslin, and I'm joined by a, a very special guest with some uh, very special guests of his own for a very special occasion, Mr. Johnny Sanchez. Uh, senior here at the Queen, you just recently signed your letter of intent to run cross country and, and track at Northwest Arkansas Community College, also known as NWAC. It's a, a big, uh, big uh, milestone for you. I know you're proud. Uh, just uh, how are you feeling about it right now, Johnny? No, I'm excited to go over up there run with Coach Boyd. He's a very good coach. He's, he ran for Arkansas his five years and he went pro after that. So. He knows what he's doing up there. What is about, it's also Northwest Arkansas, one of the greatest uh, areas of the state. Uh, I know you've got to be excited about not just going to school up there, not just running up there, but just being in a, a nice area of the state. Well, yeah, there's a lot more things to do up there. Go more, have, have more fun. Uh, I mean, there's a lot more places, more trails to run up there. So, I mean, it all works out. And of course, you still got to be running. Let's get into the running because anybody who's driven around the Queen in the last 10 <laughs> years or so, they've seen you. They might not have realized they've seen you, but uh, we've all seen you running the roads of the Queen. Uh, running's a big love of your life. Uh, where did that start? And uh, just tell us about your love for running. Well, it was starting in seventh grade after I had surgery because I couldn't do anything. I always wanted to stay in shape. Mm -hmm. So I, I ran with my brother because that's when he started running with cross country. So I would go run with him when he would go run. And that's where I started. Got your family here. Uh, I know you've got to be proud uh, to have them here with you. I know they've got to be proud um, of you. Uh, just kind of tell me how special this is for your family. I mean, it means a lot to them going out to college, trying to get a career for myself. I mean, they're proud that I'm doing something with my life, going to run. Good deal. And then uh, let's talk about the Queen here. You've been on the cross country team for four years. Uh, you've got uh, your teammates here, coaches back here with you. Uh, four years uh, on the cross country team, and you ended with the state championship this past year. How special was that? Well, I mean, a lot. I mean, ever since my brother's senior year, we've gone runner up. I mean, I saw them cry for the state championship. They fought hard for it. Then every year after that, we got runner up too. But, I mean, Coach Shaney said last year after state we're going to win it this year we won it there you go and speaking of which coach Cheney uh, just tell us a little bit you've had this young man on your cross country team for four years how special is uh, this occasion for you as his coach uh, this is of course winning state is just one of the best things you can do but this is probably one of my favorite things is to have a kid go on and help get their career started and utilize their skills and talents to help them get a little further ahead in life right now and we've had his brother ran at um, Rich Mountain and we've had several runners in the past and it's just one of my favorite things. And talk about that a little bit. Um, it's kind of a tradition not just winning state championships but you've had several uh, young men and women be able to further their education. How special is that? That's it's phenomenal. I mean we've we've got right now I think three boys at Rich Mountain they're just in, they're in the process of you know moving on it's a two-year college and um, we've got Hector Hernandez who was here on the team with him who is Johnny learned a lot from learned dedication Johnny has a lot of that himself but seeing Hector work and his brother work and some other great runners was great leadership for Johnny growing up as a freshman eighth grader and freshman and so on and it's just phenomenal seeing all those people we've got a couple girls at Henderson too uh, it's just wonderful seeing that. It's a big milestone for Johnny. Uh, coaches always have advice for the young men and women. Uh, what uh, advice have you given Johnny so far as, far as far as the challenge he's going to face over the next year? Go where he wants to go. Be happy with his decision. Um, whatever's best for him and his family. I mean, I, I'm partial to some schools around here that I know this is a new school and I'm excited about it. I hope to get to meet co his coach. and. Uh, I shouldn't say I'm partial, but I'm partial to the school where my kids go. And I, last year, me and Coach Lindsey went to the conference championships where and saw SAU and Henderson, saw a couple run, former runners run at their conference and everything. We drove all the way to, where was that, Coach? It was in Searcy. Searcy, yep. And uh, it's just phenomenal seeing them do that. And I'm excited to see him. Awesome, awesome. Anything else you guys would like to say? Any of his, anything his buddies want to say to him? <laughs> 
Love it. All right, Johnny, we just want to hear DQTV tell you congratulations. We are super, super proud of you. We wish you uh, the very best. If there's anything we can ever do for you or the cross country team as well, we're here for you. And uh, we want everybody at home to realize Johnny is just another example of why it's always a great day to be a leopard.